this would be a huge story, even bigger than wirelessly charging your AirPods in your pocket. Industry sources are saying that changes to iOS search indicate that Apple might be stepping up its efforts to build its own search tools since, as we've discussed recently, that big search deal they have with Google is firmly in the crosshairs of antitrust scrutiny, quoting the Financial Times. In a little notice change to the latest version of the iPhone operating system, iOS 14, Apple has begun to show its own search results and link directly to websites when users type queries from its home screen. Search marketing experts also point to increased activity from AppleBot, the iPhone maker's once obscure web crawler, which is used to build the vast database of online material that forms the foundation of any search engine. Sagantan Mohana Dassen a digital marketing consultant, said AppleBot has shown up, quote, a ridiculous number of times on his clients' websites in recent weeks. Quote, when the crawl rate increases, that tells us they are trying to gather more information, end quote. Most significantly, iOS 14 nudged aside Google for certain search functions. Queries made in the search window accessed by swiping right from the iPhone's home screen, which Apple calls the Today View, shows an Apple-generated list of search suggestions rather than Google results. These results include autocomplete style suggestions generated by Apple, showing that it is learning from its 1 billion users' most common queries. Building a true rival to Google's search engine could take years, but with profits this year predicted to exceed $55 billion and $81 billion of net cash reserves at the last count, Apple can afford to make long-term investments, end quote. Yes, And I would point out that Apple has a very credible team in place if it wants to do search. When John Gianandrea joined Apple a couple years ago, everyone said it was to make Siri specifically, and Apple's AI efforts generally, better. But before joining Apple, Gianandrea was head of search at Google for a decade. So, you know, if anyone could do it, what would happen to Google if it lost the firehose of search queries coming from iOS devices? Though one wonders in this environment if Apple could box Google out completely, as Benedict Evans tweeted, quote, An Apple search engine is an interesting competition puzzle. What do regulators do if Apple tries to use its market dominance on the device, preloads, defaults, search boxes, data capture, to break Google's market dominance in search? How does market definition work here? End quote. <laughs> <laughs> 